Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about calculation of dose of local anesthetic agents. It is a very important topic in oral and maxillofacial surgery and it is mostly commonly asked in MCQ, VIVA and short answer questions. And apart from academic importance, uh, it has a great significance in clinical practice too. After all, no anesthesia means no surgery in modern day practice. And let's go. It is a such topic that you forget it every next month if you won't revise it. But let me simplify it for you as much as I can. Before jumping into dose calculation, let's understand the concentration of local anesthetic and the vasoconstrictors used in it. For example, you might have noted that the LA concentration is specified as 2% lidocaine, 4% prilocaine or 0.5% bupibacaine. As in this case, you can see here it is lidocaine HCl 1% and epinephrine 1 is to 1 lakh concentration. And this 30 ml vial is for multiple purpose, multiple dose it is written here. So also this anesthetic agents may be plain, that is without any vasoconstrictors or this may contain added vasoconstrictors. And the concentration of these vasoconstrictors are represented in ratio is 1 is to 1000 or 1 is to 1 lakh, 1 is to 50,000, 1 is to 2 lakh, similarly. And what does 2% lidocaine mean? That means 2 gram of lidocaine. 2% lidocaine means 2 gram of lidocaine is present in 100 ml of solution. Okay, think it very nicely, slowly. You may repeat the video several times if you are not following. That means we can rephrase this as uh, we can keep that 100 ml we can keep that 100 ml in the this side and 100 ml solution contains 2 gram lidocaine and using unitary method 1 ml solution contains 2 gram divided by 100 gram that is 0 0.02 gram and converting this gram into milligram that becomes 20 mg lidocaine so 2% lidocaine means 20 mg per ml also let's see what does 1 is to 1000 dilution means it means 1 gram in 1000 ml hence 1 is to 1 lakh means 1 lakh ml contains 1 gram that is 1000 mg epinephrine so again using the unitary method 1 ml contains 1000 divided by 1 lakh that is 0.01 mg epinephrine similarly it can be obtained that 1 ml of uh, 1 is to 2 lakh dilution contains 0.005 mg per ml of epinephrine by now you might have understood that 1 is to 1000 is very strong concentration of epinephrine 1 is to 1 lakh is less stronger and 1 is to 2 lakh is much less stronger now comes the recommended dose part and according to manufacturer's recommendation, 7 mg per kg body weight of local anesthetic agent is recommended if it is uh, added, if added vasoconstrictor are present there. But that also should not exceed 500 mg at any times in a single appointment. And 4.4 mg per kg body weight of local anesthetic if that is without vasoconstrictor. Um, basically it signifies that if vasoconstrictor is added more LA can be administered in a single patient Th uh, that much only you need to understand but according to American Dental Association's recommendation whether the vasoconstrictor is added or not the recommended dose is 4.4 mg per kg body weight and maximum recommended dose of epinephrine the uh, local anesthetic component lidocaine component is different and epinephrine is different component so let's see maximum recommended dose of epinephrine per appointment is 0.2 mg for normal patients 0.04 mg for patients with clinically significant cardiovascular disease and it is restricted in ischemic heart disease patients 
This clinically significant cardiovascular disease presents includes um, different different uh, heart disease patients, including hypertension. So we can consider 0.04 mg for cardiac risk patients. And always remember that maximum dose in healthy patient is limited by local anesthetic agent. Whereas in patient with significant cardiovascular disease, maximum dose is limited by epinephrine. Epinephrine limits in cardiac patients, whereas local anesthetic limits the dose in healthy patients. That can be memorized as hello care. I have given the mnemonics here. Now, let's come to the calculation part. Is 2% lidocaine with epinephrine? 1 is to 2 lakh is the most commonly used in our part of the world. Let's memorize this, these two lines. Uh, 2% means 20 mg per ml lidocaine. 2% means 20 mg per ml. This we need to mug up. And 1 is to 2 lakhs means 0.005 mg per ml epinephrine. This will save our time pretty much. For only that reason I am telling we need to mug this up. Now, so in healthy patients for 2% lidocaine or lignocaine, maximum recommended amount would be 500 mg. This 500 mg was manufacturer's recommendation that should not exceed in a single appointment. So, 500 mg and this is 20 mg per ml. 2% lidocaine means 20 mg per ml. So, how many ml? To calculate how much ml will contain 500 mg, we have done this and it will come around 25 ml and that is 12.5 cartridges approximately and the dental cartridges uh, also usually contain 1.8 ml in USA and France but whereas in the UK and Australia that is 2.2 ml in India and some part of the world it is 2 ml so let's say 12.5 cartridges and for cardiovascular disease patients the dose is limited by epinephrine so maximum recommended amount is 0.04 mg epinephrine and divided by 0.005 mg per ml if you remember 1 is to 2 lakh means 0.005 mg per ml epinephrine so that comes around 8 ml that is 4 cartridges now we need to Remember that for cardiovascular patients, 8 ml of local anesthetic can be given safely if the concentration is 1 is to 1 lakh, concentration of epinephrine is. So, if the concentration 1 is to 2 lakh, not 1 is to 1 lakh, if the concentration is reduced, if the concentration is reduced or plain LA is given, that doesn't pose any risk, but if 1 is to 50,000 concentration is used. 1 is to 50,000 means 4 times more epinephrine than 1 is to 2 lakh. So, instead of this 8 ml, only 2 ml, only 1 cartridge can be given. That's why 1 is to 50,000 ml epinephrine is contraindicated in cardiovascular patients. If any confusions to exist, uh, please comment below. I couldn't um, make it more simpler. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thank you.